The James Webb Space Telescope has recently detected something in the far reaches of the universe. This fascinating discovery has generated concern among astronomers around the world, as it challenges our knowledge of fundamental physics in the observable universe. The massive object that have been found at the edge of the universe raises questions and fears among astronomers. Join us to explore about this exciting find made by the James Webb Telescope in deep space. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. In 1929, American astronomer Edwin Hubble observed that galaxies were moving away from each other after the Big Bang, which we know as the expansion of the universe. According to Einstein theory, the universe extends infinitely without a defined edge and possibly curves into itself like a higher dimensional version of the surface of a ball. By observing identical galaxies at opposite sides of the universe, some argue that the universe has no edge. However, others argue that the universe did have a beginning approximately 13.82 billion years ago during the Big Bang. The only light from the galaxy that we can see is that which has traveled less than the age of the universe to reach us on Earth. This region from our extraterrestrial point of view is known as the observable universe and has a diameter of approximately 92 billion years. Due to the rapid extension of the universe in the first moments after the Big Bang, this region just moved away at speeds faster than the speed of light. The observable universe is bounded by a horizon similar to the horizon of the sea. Just as we know that there is more ocean beyond the horizon, we understand that there are an unlimited number of galaxies beyond the cosmic horizon. The prevailing theory is that the light from these galaxies has not yet reached us. The question that arises is whether the James Webb Space Telescope can see beyond the cosmic horizon. The development of the web has been intense and extensive, leading us to wonder if it is capable of achieving the unimaginable. Being 100 times more powerful than its predecessor, Webb can prove the faint light of early galaxies and analyze the planets orbiting stars in our galaxy. It even has the ability to examine atmospheres and detect signs of other life forms. We have the observable universe and the unobservable universe. This means that if our eyes could detect all type of radiation around us, the observable universe would be what we could see. However, we yet don't know what scientists will discover when they point web towards the edge of the universe. The most distant invisible light we can observe comes from the cosmic microwave background. Some scientists argue that certain gravitational waves and neutrinos come from even more distant regions in the universe. In the early universe, it is estimated that it was opaque, similar to a dense fog, but we cannot verify this claim due to the lack of adequate technology. Cosmologists argue that for a more scientific explanation, the same physics applies and the observable universe is only a small part of a larger reality that we do not yet know. A notable example of this concept is the Pandora Abel 2744 galaxy cluster. This galaxy discovered at the far reaches of the universe is unique for several reasons. First, it is so distant that it takes 13 billion years for its light to reach us. In addition, when we look at it, we see what it looked approximately 650 million years ago. This applies to all distant objects in this universe, since light takes time to reach us on Earth. The discovery of Abel 2744 Y1 was achieved through the collaboration of these three telescopes. Splitzer, Hubble, and Chandra. Each uses different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum to capture information. Splitzer focuses on the infrared part, Hubble on the near-infrared and visible light. Working together, these telescopes allows us to obtain a more complete and detailed picture of the object in question. The scientists use the Chandra Observatory to collect additional data using X-ray waves. With the collaboration of the three observatories mentioned above, astronomers were able to observe galaxies up to 100 times farther away than they could have observed separately. The Chandra Observatory was the first to be used by astronomers from the Instituto de Astrofisica de Canarias and the University of La Laguna. The Splitzer Observatory was used to calculate the distance between the object and Earth as well as its position. It also made it possible to determine the number of stars in this galaxy and to obtain images of a Bell 2744Y1. The astronomers used the gravitational lensing method, comparable to using magnifying glass to deflect sunlight. This method made it possible to focus images of distant galaxies using galaxies closer to Earth. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, 
the use of gravitational lensing was predicted to examine more distant objects in the observable universe. As for the size of a Bell 2744Y1, this galaxy is almost 50 times smaller than the Milky Way, with a width of about 23,000 light years. However, it compensates for its size with a high stellar population, creating stars at a rate of 10 times that of our galaxy. This phenomenon is common in very old galaxies. Its redshift is 8, indicating its distance and redshift to the red end of the spectrum due to the expansion of the universe. Redshift is a measure of how much the light from an object has shifted towards redder wavelengths due to the expansion of the universe. Before the discovery of the Abel galaxy, the most distant galaxy known to humans had a redshift of 7. However, not all distant objects are galaxies. In this case, we refer to a supernova, which is an impressive cosmic event. The most distant supernova discovered by astronomers is called 16-2NM. Its peculiar name is due to the fact that it was identified in the context of dark energy research, which seeks to understand the force responsible for the expansions of the universe. Supernovae are massive explosions that represent the last moments of a star, when it exhausts all the elements that give use to stay alive. Some of these stars can be at least five times larger than our sun. The apparent brightness of a star in our night sky is due to the balance between two opposing forces, gravity, which tends to pull up the star into a dead point, and nuclear fusion in the star's core, which exerts outward pressure. When a star runs out of fuel, it begins to cool and the pressure gradually decreases. Eventually, gravity becomes dominant and the star collapses rapidly. This collapse triggers a shock wave event that causes the outer section of the star to explode, releasing an enormous amount of energy. The collapse of the star into a supernova occurs in a matter of seconds, similar to a collapse of the Earth in about 15 seconds. This explosion generates a shock wave that causes the outer shell of the star to be ejected. Supernovae are spectacular events and represent one of the most powerful phenomena we can witness in the universe. Micho Kaku, a well-known contemporary theoretical physicist, has expressed interest and fascination with supernovae in several of his papers in interviews. While I cannot provide specific information about his most recent views, I can talk about the general ideas Micho Kaku has shared about supernovae in the past. Kaku recognizes the importance of supernovae in cosmology and astrophysics. Consider that supernovae are extremely powerful and spectacular astronomical events that occur at the end of the life of certain massive stars. During a supernova, the star undergoes a massive explosion releasing an incredible amount of energy and hurtling matter into space at extreme speeds. These events are crucial for understanding stellar evolution, the formation of heavy elements, and the dynamics of galaxies. Kaku has also highlighted the fundamental role of supernovae in generating the chemical elements necessary for life as we know it. In supernova explosions, elements heavier than iron such as gold, platinum, and uranium are synthesized. These elements are dispersed into space and can form part of the later planetary systems, including our own. Therefore, Michio Kaku considers supernovae to be crucial events for the formation of planets and the possibility of life in the universe. What do you think? Let us know in the comments box your opinion and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.